counting down to first pitch at City Field. It's the Marlins and the Mets next on the show. On a good night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the home of the Mets, City Field, a site for tonight's edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good one on tap here, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the New York Mets. And welcome again, everybody, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. Matt Vaskersian here to call the balls and strikes. Alongside me, Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, who'll join us momentarily. But first, let's say we check out our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll be opposed by a young pitcher on the rise, as you see the numbers there for the right-hander, Mike Pelfrey. And in the field, we see the Mets will line up this way. Making his way forward is the leadoff man, Hanley Ramirez. So that means we're just about set to go now from New York. Cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. First pitch, 7-10. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And Ramirez is aboard, hits a base hit. This ball's absolutely drilled that time. You can see here in the bottom corner of your screen, that ball leaves his bat at 98 miles an hour. And that is a hard hit ball. Jose Guillen will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. And they'll have another here as this is into right field for a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Looks like opportunity's knocking in the very first inning here. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back hits to start things out, and now they can put the pressure on right out of the gates. Gabby Sanchez will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. First pitch on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. They've got an opening here, so this is where you can really jump on a guy out there before he's settled in. there from Sanchez but he didn't get it as he falls behind nothing in two now and he's trying to bounce back here after back-to-back -back singles to open the ball game
inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Ball strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Big strikeout there after allowing the first two batters in the game to reach base. Now he maybe even could shoot for a ground ball and get out of the inning on skate. Ronnie Belliard will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. Looks at a sinker there that drops in, 1-1. One and one. Don't know what he's waiting for there. Now Pelfrey ready, the 1-1. One -one. And he lays off the pitch down and away, ball two. back. And wow, I'm not sure A, how you take that, and B, how it's not a strike. Three and two now. On the mound, he's got to be thinking, this is no time for that strike zone to start getting smaller. I need that strike. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Wow, a flip to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Now the starting lineup for those Mets looks like this. It comes courtesy of State Farm. And set to go to work against these guys is the veteran who some years ago authored a no-hitter, right-hander Kevin Millwood. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Right back to work as the shortstop, Jose Reyes, digs in to lead off the bottom of inning number one. him out with a slider for a strike. Oh. 
Well, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. A little bit of a hitch in his swing that time. Good curveball. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw over by Belliard, one away. A look there at the dimensions of the new home of the Mets, open for business in April of 2009 after almost a half century spent played across the parking lot at Shea. 335 down the left field line, 379 out to left center, 408 straight away, 383 to right center, and an even 330 down that right field line. Angel Pagan will step in now. And he starts him out with... Well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. and oh. And they've bottled him up pretty good so far, just 2 for 10 in this series. Here's the 1-0. Oh. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. Pitch is hit hard as it'll fall into right field for their first hit of the ball game. As we forge through this final month of the season, he's making a real push to end the year over 300. And he's got a solid base hit here. Ike Davis will take his cuts now. Checked by Millwood, now the pitch. Goes the other way with a curveball here, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. Under it is Morrison now, and there are two away. Our umpire and crew for tonight's game, Woody Keller calls the balls and strikes. The old Irishman Porter Callahan's over at first. Dutch Nelson, the crew chief, will be out at second. And Joe Watson will be the arbiter down at third. Jason Bay will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. But that's where he's going to want to keep this thing, work it away so they have to extend to get it. Come on, New York. In tight with the sinker, ball two. And this is not a guy that will get himself out. You're going to have to come to him at some point. The 2-0 home to Bay. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. Over is Guillen, but this is a fair ball heading for the corner. No wasting any time here in the first. That's a good swing there, and it allows them to drive one for two bases. Now maybe they're one more hit away from jumping out to a quick 2-0 lead. 
Carlos Beltran will make his way in now. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's game. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. And for the most part, he's been held in check in the series so far, just two for nine. Now the 1 0 home to Beltran. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. And remember, he's got a base open, so he can pick who he wants to pitch to here. Big cut at the 2-0 slider, but he comes up empty 2-1. and one. Two and two. Well, this would be a big break for him here in the first inning if he can get out of this. Turned away here in the first. We'll head to the second at City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. Logan Morrison will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. First pitch on its way from Pelfrey. Swing hard liner to left center. And he's got himself a base hit. He'll take the turn and head for second. Throw into second. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Trying to get himself in the scoring position to lead off the inning. But it would have been better served to hold on to first. As that could turn out to be costly right there. Chris Coglin will stand in for the first time here. Fastball's in there for strike one. Wow, and he is spotting that fastball on a dime here early on. Now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and grounded the other way to third. Throw on to first and very quickly two up, two down to start the second. Omar Infante will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. No, Throw in not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. And this is just a situation where pure hustle helps keep the inning alive. Hey, anytime you can get on base and string things out for another batter, you never know what might happen. John Baker will get his first opportunity now.
And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. No score here as we play inning number two. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Good sinker there as it's bounced to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Josh Toley will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. First pitch coming. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. And that misses one and one. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Here he comes again, 1-2. Rolled foul off to the left, so he stays alive. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And Sanchez will take this himself. Three unassisted for the put out. Well, this winds up being a ground out, but still, that's not a bad at bat. He made him throw a lot of pitches to get that out. Daniel Murphy will dig in here.
In there, strike one. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. Bottom of the second here with no score. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Working the black, that's a good pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And a big curveball is in there for a cold third strike, and there are two gone. And he looks just as good tonight as he did his last time out. He's getting ahead of guys early and making them swing at his pitch. And he looks like he's really in a good groove out there early on. Scott Hairston will stand in. Here's the first pitch. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Eighth home run of the season for it. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. say almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but boy, the right fielder almost brings this one back into the ballpark. That was close. Mike Pelfrey will be the batter. start the at-bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. Lays off again and it's 2-0. And I don't understand what he's doing here. He's just got to throw the fastball and go right at him. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. Boy, I think 2-0, and oh, and you're the pitcher, you got to be taken. Ready with the 2-1. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt in fact. Uh, and the one thing you cannot afford to do is to extend this inning by walking the pitcher. Fastball in there, three and two. Well, that may have been the last pitch in the at-bat that he could do something with. He's not going to get anything better than that.
the 3-2 pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. We play two. It's one nothing Mets. Kevin Millwood is ready to go here as we begin the third. Out of play. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. foul. Good waste pitch, one and two. Wow, and you can bet he was saving that pitch. Good job to lay off. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. He'll try again, one, two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher, and he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. Too high with that one. It's one and oh. Here's the one oh now to Ramirez. Swing and a miss, one and one. And you can sit on the slider and hope he leaves one up in the zone, but when it's down there, it is awfully tough to get the barrel on. This one's up around the eyes, two and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. Over to first now is Davis as he takes it himself for the out. And the numbers with this guy will tell you, he's not really a strikeout pitcher per se, but he will make you put it in play. And he gets another ground ball out with a good pitch right there. Jose Guillen will dig in. He singled his first time around. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here. 
especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Two out, nobody on. The 1-0 pitch. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And Pagan will tuck this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Back to the top of the order now, and stepping in at the shortstop, Jose Reyes. First pitch to him. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now a ball lined toward right center. And Reyes is aboard with a leadoff single. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. And the Mets are in business now. It's a leadoff triple. Ah, uh, and this is something you don't want to see. We mentioned at the top of the broadcast that he was going to try to play through the hamstring injury, but it certainly looks from up here that he's re-aggravated it somehow. Brian Peterson is on now as he'll take over in right field following the injury. Angel Pagan will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Curveball there as this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Coughlin is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. That, folks, is what you'd call a quick run. A triple followed by a first pitch sacrifice fly. Aside from a home run, that's about as fast as it gets. Davis will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. in there for strike one and now after that sack fly this is where you got to just clear the deck and start this inning over hits are now even at four apiece and this ball will be chopped foul And the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And the prevailing thought is you're going to get at least one really good pitch to hit in at bat. But I'm not sure he did there. Those were three really good pitches. Jason Bay will stand in here. He doubled his first time around.
And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. away as he misses again 2 and 0 oh. Bases are empty here with two men out Ball 3 as he misses low with it here Showing real good patience there at the plate. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Oof. You don't see him take that pitch too often. Now the 3-1 is pulled on the ground to third. Right there is Belliard. Throw in time and the side is retired. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. The Mets lead this one two to nothing. Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch on its way from Pelfrey. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. And now you've got the 3, 4, and 5 guys due here to start the fourth. So hopefully they're set up for some kind of a breakthrough against this guy. Contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The relay. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Well, this won't hurt the old slugging percentage any. This thing finds a seam out there. He makes it all the way around a third with his third triple of the year. Ronnie Belliard steps in now. the fastball from Pelfrey as he jumps ahead nothing and one and on the mound you just have to forget about that runner at third and just work on getting three outs it's tough for any pitcher to work out of this without that run scoring and a fastball way off target here and it's even at one
No runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. And now in the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. is on the inside edge perhaps off the inside edge but it's a called strike two and two now oh he's he's got a legitimate gripe right there I don't know about that one now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle and they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Well, the key here is that he knows it's going to be close at the bag, so he's busting it down the line and beats it out. Logan Morrison will try it again. He was thrown out trying for a double his first time. ball in there for a called strike and he gets ahead but that caught far more of the plate than I think he wanted to talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt that's low but called a strike anyway nothing in two now and I think he turned to the home plate umpire and said really Goes the other way as this is line to left. Bay has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Making a bid for his second hit of the game here, and he certainly hit it hard enough, but this winds up finding the outfielder's glove. That's a tough break. Chris Coglin will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. That changeup away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. And that's right where you want to be throwing those sinkers, but he's doing a good job at the plate of not chasing. Cold strike on the change, two and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count.
Here he comes on two and one. Called strike two. And this is ripped down the first baseline. And he is going to reach. It's a base hit. And now the upshot of this is you have the tying run at third. The go-ahead run at second was still only one out. Now we'll see how they want to play this from a defensive perspective. Omar Infante will step in now. Come set, now the pitch. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Beltran is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Oh, and the throw is over his head. Yeah, I don't know if they really had much of a shot at getting him at the plate, but that's good work to keep the other runner at second base. Baker will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. set now the pitch and he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike and now if you can get this guy here you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth in front of this one and it's fouled down the line at first. He waits. Now the pitch. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied 2-2. And there you see the latest scores from the NL here on a Thursday night brought to us by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Carlos Beltran will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes.
And he misses again, 2-0. Well, after striking out the first time, he's learning not to chase after that pitch. Boy, and Woody Keller's just not giving him any help now. It's 3-0. and Well, that, that strike zone looks like it's tightening up a bit. Here he comes on 3-0. and And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And after your guys just gave you two runs the last half inning, you don't want to start giving them right back. A leadoff walk? I mean, no way. You can't do that right now. Josh Tolley will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. looked inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one and as a catcher at the plate he's thinking you better call that both ways lead by Beltron and now the pitch now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul On the ground for Ramirez, this could be two. Infante for one. On to Sanchez, it's a double play. Well, so much for the leadoff walk as he comes right back to get the ground ball he needed for the double play. Daniel Murphy will dig in here. Right there for strike one. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. The pitch. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Yeah, and both these pitches have been strikes, but neither's been in a spot he can drive. Grounded foul. Nicely there as this is lifted high and deep the other way to left. And Morrison will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied 2-2. Kevin Millwood will step in to get things started for the Marlins. He'll be followed by the dangerous Hanley Ramirez on deck. Now the first pitch. Ball hit on the first pitch out to the shortstop Reyes. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Well, you always love to start an inning against the opposing pitcher, but you doubly love it when he makes a first pitch out. That's the best of both worlds there. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth. And it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez.
starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. and One of the rare times that he has not started a hitter with strike one. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. 2-0. And the sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. So the count swells to three and one. And this is where he's dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can also take you deep. Two called, and it's full three and two. And sometimes you just got to wait this guy out up there. He hasn't felt right about any of those first five pitches, but number six could be different. towards the hole and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit trying to set up inside with a fastball but it doesn't quite get there and he just yanks this thing to left for the base hit Brian Peterson will get his first cuts here inside with that one ball one and they haven't tried running on this catcher yet through the first four innings we'll see if that changes Opposite field to left. Bay is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Well, everything's going right for him on the mound now. When line drives are finding your outfielder's gloves out there, you know Providence is on your side. Gabby Sanchez will step in. He tripled and subsequently scored last time around. Is a fastball right there for strike one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now here's a ball hit high and deep out to left center field. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. One left for Florida. We've hit the halfway point tied at two. Scott Hairston will stand in again. He homered his first time around. That's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And whether or not this guy can get on base out of the number eight spot may determine whether their starter behind him stays in the game or not. Ball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw over by Infante, and that's out number one. Hit that one right on the nose, but right to him for the out. Mike Pelfrey will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Too low, 1-0. Oh. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ah, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Grounded foul, still two strikes. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Three. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Jose Reyes will stand in. He's one for two so far. Yeah. 
And this is low, ball one. And this is a guy with some speed out of that left-handed batter's box, so infielders will have to be quick with their throws on a ground ball. Two out, nobody on. 1-0 on the way. Now a bunt attempt, but he missed it, strike one. Well, if there's one guy in the game who can utilize his speed better than Reyes, I don't know who he is. You gotta be wary here. And they guessed right on the bunt, but this is gonna be close. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing doing there against Kevin Millwood, and we remain tied at two apiece. Ronnie Belliard will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And that sinker is such a great weapon to have, and you can see right there how much he likes to go to it on our pitch breakdown. So one gone now, and here's Logan Morrison, the left fielder. Hit hard towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Yeah, two pitches, two outs here so far. Uh, offensively, that's not the kind of inning you want in a tie ball game. You need to make him work at least a little bit out there. Chris Coglin will dig in, one for two with a double in this one. first pitch and he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees pretty liberal strike zone there it's 0 and 1 pretty generous call there bases are empty here with two men out one is swung on and grounded the other way to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. Omar Infante will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. The next pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And they'll stop the runner at second base, but there are two on and two out now. Well, the scoreboard really hasn't borne this out, but it seems like every inning's been a stressful one for him. 
He hasn't really seemed to be in complete control out there, and he's facing another tough challenge right now. John Baker will stand in 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up leaving two. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth, and we are tied 2-2. Two, two. Angel Pagan will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled back. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. ball here good pitch but a better take and it's to two and one now and right now at the plate I think you sit on fastball and react to the breaking ball grounded fouled off to the right side two two pitch on the way And a fastball here is swung on and lifted in the air to left. There to take it in is Morrison, and that's out number one. A run in the second and a run in the third, and that's all, as he's been very sharp to this point. Ike Davis will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. And, and now at the plate, you got to do something to get this guy out of the roll he's been on. Swing and the ball lifted out to straightaway central now for Coughlin. And that's out number two. And here in these middle innings, they just haven't been able to get anything going against him out there. And that's seven in a row now. He's set down here in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. First two in the inning are gone now for Jason Bay. Too high, one and oh. Now here's the pitch. 
Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. is a fastball high and it's 3 and 0. The 3 and nothing pitch. And they able to lay off and use a board on ball 4. Well, it doesn't take a genius to see here. They were not going to give him anything near the zone to hit and miss it back. You see the sequence on show track, and this turns out to be just about the equivalent of an intentional walk. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in Carlos Beltran, the center fielder. and a ball chop foul down the left side. Check by Millwood, now the pitch. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Met strand one, six innings complete, all square at two and two. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Michael Stanton is out of the dugout and into the on-deck circle, so that's going to do it for Kevin Millwood. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Pitch on the way. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And they've really kept him in check in this series, just one for nine so far. Inside and low, two and one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike, too. Another good pitch there. I'm not sure he's thrown a bad slider tonight. Every one of them has had a ton of movement. Yeah. 
And this is fouled straight back. Strike three called, so the pinch hitter will head right back to where he came from. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. Off the plate and low here, ball one. And even though he's been sharp on the mound, I'm guessing he may need some help from that bullpen before this one's said and done. Uh, needs to get that sinker down. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and once you see a guy three or four times in a game, it's easy to see patterns in how they pitch you. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Here's the two and one pitch. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. There to make the play is Toby, and there are two gone now. And here's a look at his pitches by inning to this point. You can see the total is 82. He's been fairly consistent in his outing so far. Brian Peterson will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. Runs up high, ball one. Two and zero oh, as this one's taken low. Gets the call on the changeup there, 2-1. and one. Yeah, and 2-0, and oh, even if he had a green light, that's one he should go ahead and let go by. That was in a tough spot. The 2-1. Misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. 
And you can tell that the scouting report's been telling him to keep everything down here. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Boy, he's really digging himself in a hole right here. The last thing you want to do is put the possible go-ahead run on base without even making him swing the bat. Gabby Sanchez will be the batter. Ball called for strike one. And after the two out walk, now is where you really need to make these guys pay. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark, and we are tied 2-2. Clay Hensley will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Josh Tolley will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Daniel Murphy will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. Here's the pitch. Now the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground to third. Right there is Belliard. Pro on to Sanchez is in time. Two away. Scott Hairston will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. the deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second home run of the game. And it's given the Mets a 3-2 lead. Matt, this is a big home run here late in this one. The game's certainly not over yet, but this lead changes hands here, and this could be a huge turning point. Jim Tomey is out of the dugout now, and it looks like he'll bat for the pitcher, Pelfrey. And 
good fastball that time from Hensley as he jumps ahead, nothing and one. Need a pinch hitter? How about turning to a guy with 30-something home runs? You don't see that every day. Big rip by Tommy, but he can't connect. 0-2 now. And after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Swing by Tommy, and I think he got all of that one. He did. Home run. A solo home run for Jim Tommy. 34 home runs now on the year, and they push the lead to four to two. Boy, you talk about clutch hitting. This guy comes off the bench cold and then pow, right over the wall. That is not easy to do. Jan Mourinhoz will get the ball looking to get the final out now here in this seventh inning. Jose Reyes will get another crack, one for three thus far. In there for strike one. That thing's coming in there hot, 96 miles an hour. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and thrown. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Now the pitch. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. And a fastball that's taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. Dives and he makes the catch. How about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning? So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Marlins two. Chris Capuano will be summoned from the bullpen now. So he'll take over to start inning number eight. Ronnie Belliard will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And now K-Rod Francisco Rodriguez is up throwing in the bullpen. 
And here's a fastball that time from Capuano. Good pitch, and it's strike one. And two of the three men to greet him here in the inning are left-handed, so he should have a bit of a matchup advantage. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. I mean, that couldn't have been an easy take. And now a pitch on the way. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Logan Morrison will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. First offering on the way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Strike two. <laughs> Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high one and two. And a lot of times, this is where he likes to elevate that fastball and try to get guys to chase. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, he is really making him work out there. Full count pitch on its way. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. And in a 4-2 game, time to check the numbers here. It's our starter comparison as we see how these two performances stack up against one another. Chris Coglin will get another crack, one for three thus far.
first pitch coming. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One and, and these guys aren't out of this game, but their chances are diminishing by the second. This is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses two and one. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And Bale line this one up, make the catch, and with that, the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Mets lead it 4-2. to two. Angel Pagan will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. will be grounded foul down the line at first. Lined up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Leadoff man on here in the eighth. And with a two-run lead, they'd certainly like to find a way to bring this guy around. You never can have too much insurance this late in the game. Ike Davis will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Pagan holding, and now here's the pitch. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Well, if he needed to pick a time to come up with his first hit of the series, this would be as good as any. Come on. Swing and a miss on the good fastball, and now it's a quick 0-2 count. Yeah, and quick's the operative word. That came in there at 96 miles an hour. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And that'll serve a useful purpose if you can go after the outside corner low and away now. Come set, now the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Maybe not exactly what you'd want to have leading off the top of the ninth. As you can see, it'll be seven, eight, and nine due up as they try to hang around in this one. Jason Bay will stand in now. One for two with a double so far. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back in there. And he 
And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Looks tempting up there, but he's got to hold off. Big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. And he jumps ahead here 0-2, yet he hasn't put one in the strike zone yet. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Tip at the plate, and you can hear that one ring off the catcher's mask as he stays alive. Another 0 and 2 coming, and he misses there. 1 and 2. Sometimes when you foul a few two strike pitches off, you have a tendency to start swinging at anything. That's a good eye. Swings and misses that time, and he's retired for the second out. Yeah, and it's starting to get into the time of game where those shadows are becoming a factor. You can see it here from behind the plate. It's not always easy to pick up that ball when you've got light, dark, light, dark behind you. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And here's the ever-dangerous Carlos Beltran. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back. And he gets ahead 0-1. And, and he's been stuck on first over there, but he may decide with two outs that he can't wait any longer. Ball one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. And he's come back pretty sharply ever since giving up that leadoff single. A runner on first with two away. Now he turns on a fastball here and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. So a two-run home run for Carlos Beltran. The 301st of his career as they open it up to six to two now. situation where you wonder how much of his concentration is on first base and how much of it is on home plate because if you're not a hundred percent locked in on the guy at the plate folks will make you pay at this level Josh Tolley will try again 0 for 3 thus far is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And the pitch. And he misses with it one and one. And in order for that thing to be effective, it's got to be down. 
It almost doesn't matter how quick you throw it or how much the break is. Now a fastball hit on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Marlins. It's now six to two. Omar Infante will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. inning underway as the first pitch misses for bowl one. And here in the ninth it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Good fastball there on the outside part of the plate. He got him to reach for it, and all he could do was send an easy grounder to second. John Baker will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Here's the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. And there's out number two. And that's telling of how they've swung the bat. This has just been a punchless offense so far. And this pop-up is pretty indicative of their struggles. Emilio Bonifacio will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. in there for strike one zero oh, and one and he'll have had to work two full innings if he indeed records the save here but I'm sure he doesn't mind that much at all slider taken here one ball one strike and here's a spot off the bench where all you want to do is just to try to get something started. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. Boy, and if you're on the mound, you're thinking, I gotta have that one. a swing and a miss on that one and the Marlins find themselves down to their final strike now right on the inside part of the plate not much you can do with that fastball 
Now a crowd of 31,000 plus come to their feet. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Tough to lay off, especially when he's looking for the final strike of the ball game. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the first is going to be in time to get him, and the Mets taking the finale here they win the series three games to one as the ball game is over pretty nice accomplishment for him right there his first major league save but i'm sure his club's hoping this will be the first of many to come certainly working in this one but out of everybody I'd say this man most deserves to be our tops player of the game yeah a couple of home runs in the ball game is pretty special you could tell he was really dialed in up there and he had a whale of the game of MLB 11 The Show. For even more, join us on the web at theshownation.com. The Mets come out on top 6-2. to two. Post game highlights from New York are coming up next. Until next time, good night, everybody.